Hello, what's up my candy corn dumplings? It is I, Michelle, or Mysterious Pixie here. Hello! If you're new to this channel, welcome! Thank you so much for stopping by on this very hauntingly Hallow's Eve evening. Ooh. Can you believe it? Tomorrow's Halloween. Such a bittersweet moment. I look forward to it all year round and then just like that, it's gone. Just like that. But if you're a freak like me, you celebrate it every single day of the year. So it's not so much a big deal. I like it. I want, I want Halloween to be like the whole month. Maybe two months would be, would be good. When I become president, that's what I'm going to change. That's the first thing I'm going to change. <laughs> okay, so I got tagged by the lovely Luna Rainbow. I will leave the link to her channel down below, which is in my description box. So if you have not checked out her channel, go check her out. She is super cute. She's super cool. She's very spontaneous. She's got a laugh that is just so contagious. She's so cute, so funny. So this is her tag. She tagged me in it. Thank you, Luna. Thank you so much for tagging me. I'm sorry it took so long to do, but I was waiting for the perfect night to do it. And tonight is the perfect night because it's all Hallow's Eve. All right, so if you're interested in watching what answers I have for the next 12 questions, then stick around because I would love to have you here. Okay, so question number one. What is your favorite Halloween tradition? My favorite Halloween tradition, which totally just pops my Halloween cherry, is watching the original Halloween with Jamie Lee Curtis. Love that classic. I just, I think I love most is the, the creepiness of, of course, Mike Myers. But I think I like the theme song. It's just so creepy and mysterious. I love it. Number two, what is your favorite Halloween candy? My favorite Halloween candy, well, I love um, Reese's Pieces uh, peanut butter cup, but the darn things are so small and it gets me mad when I finish it. And I don't want it to be gone. I want more, I want a bigger piece. So what they come out is super clever. They have this special like, um, the, the special, what do you call those? Special tradition, not traditions. What is it called? Brain fart. Limited editions. Hmm. Limited editions. They have them for Christmas. I think they have them for Easter. Or they come out with these cute little shapes that are, that are themed related. So that's going to be my favorite Halloween candy because I love when they come up with the little pumpkin ones. They're about triple the size of a Reese's peanut butter cup. And it's filled with just juicy goodness of peanut butter and chocolate. Love that combo. Love that candy. Number three, who's your favorite Halloween character? Oh, I love Jack and Sally. That's just, that's just a given. I love them. But if we're talking about like real people, I love the Sanderson sisters. They're totally groovy and I love them. Number four, who's your, what's your favorite Halloween animal? I love black cats. Do you like this backdrop? Isn't it so cool? One dollar. One dollar make you holler. But yeah, at the dollar store. But super cute. Kind of want to leave it up all year round. I just might. Number five. What's your favorite Halloween costume? I love the classic witch, but I like all things of the witch. You can't go wrong with a witch costume. You can make her sexy, you can make her sultry, you can make her cute, you can make her ugly, you know, and she's still gonna come out beautiful. She's just, she's such a unique person, individual, and I love all, the, I love to see all the, the different things related around a witch. So I love the witch costume. Number six, number six. What do you prefer, haunted houses or corn mazes? I love haunted houses because I love to be jump scared. Love it. Just love that that adrenaline rush when you get where you're almost about to like piss your pants. That's what I live for. So I've never been to a haunted house before. If you have, please share below. I would love to hear the story. And don't leave any of the gross details out because I want to hear it. So haunted houses, I would like to go. I think I would like to go to a real one. If they had a corn maze, with actual zombies running through, I I think I might like that one. That would be so cool, just running at night 
and you're scared shitless, don't know where to go, which way to turn, because you don't know if there's going to be a zombie on the other side, that's the shit I live for. I love that. Okay, number seven. How much do you get into it? I like to say I get into the Halloween spirit about 110%. Number eight. What's your favorite Halloween drink? Well, I have to agree with Luna on this one because she says she likes everything or anything pumpkin spice or anything with a pumpkin in it. Love that. I love a pumpkin latte from like Starbucks. And October is the only month I would. But for October, it's going to be something with pumpkin. And if we're talking about like an adult beverage, which I drink all year round, but I like to drink it in a fancy little Halloween cup, will be a red wine or a pink mascot. I want to share this cup with you. I've got my fancy red wine in here and look how cute, oh, can't see. Look how cute is that? Per a normal activity. Ha, ha, ha. Isn't that cute? Yes, I'm living for this cup. And it's got a black hat. Got this at the dollar store. Love it. As you can tell, I'm a little loopy already. I've already had maybe two glasses of this. This is the wine that I'm drinking. Oh, it matches my hair so pretty. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, but yeah, it's cheap, it's sweet, and it does the job good. Okay, so what number was that? So that's my Halloween drink. Collect myself. Uh, number eight, number nine. What's your favorite Halloween food? Well, during the month of, of Halloween, October, I like to do a lot of baking with my daughter or with my husband. We do a lot of baking during that time. And I recently bought this tin. I'm thinking of making some coffin brownies. Look how cute. So it comes with six shaped coffin brownies. I think it's a, it's, it'll be a good size brownie. So I'm thinking of making some, some really cool you know, coffin brownies. Um, I'm going to do that tomorrow. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll put a picture on there. So I'll show you how they turned out. Okay. And if you guys do that, I would love to see uh, what you guys bake during um, the, hol the holiday season or what you come up with. Oh, and this tin I got at Target for $10. Uh, number 10. Number 10. What is your favorite thing to do for Halloween? Well... Especially if Halloween landed on a weekend, my husband and I would go to a goth club because you would, we would get all dressed up, go out and dance all night, have fun, have some drinks, and just totally, you know, live it up. This year is going to be a little different because times have changed and things are different. Things are not as safe right now to go out and things are closed. But this year, I'm not too sad about it. This year, we're gonna um, order some takeout, eat my brownie coffin cakes, and we're gonna just watch movie after movie after movie of just horror classics. Um, I already got a, a list that I wanna start watching. Um, the three, my top three that I wanna see is gonna be, cause I like the old classic ones like from Albert Hitchcock, or even, um, what's that old guy's name that has that creepy, mysterious voice. <laughs> He's got, it's just, just, just like penetrates right through you. His laugh. Vincent Price, yes. So one of you guys was like tele, 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 teleporting it to me because I, I felt it. I felt it. We were connecting. You and I were connecting. But yeah, thanks. Yeah, Vincent Price. Love, love those classic movies. So probably be like The Birds, the original Psycho. And I'm not sure who, if Albert Hitchcock made this movie or maybe someone else, but Rosemary's Baby, that's a good one to watch. So those are the three. So that's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. Ah, my favorite Halloween song. Don't you just love this theme song from Harry Potter? It just reminds me of that Wait, this is, that's exactly, this whole backdrop, it just reminds me of Harry Potter the theme song. Just, just the magic I do. I feel like when I close my eyes, I'm just soaring through the air in my latest 2000. My bedazzled in this 2000. I'm just letting the wind flow through my my fake dreadlocks. But yeah, that's my favorite Halloween. And that's what I like. <laughs> All right.
right. Number 12. This is the last one and I promise to let you go because I know you're getting bored of me. So number 12. Uh, what's your favorite Halloween movie? Well, my favorite Halloween movie I've already said was the classic Halloween with Jamie Lee Curtis. But you know, if they can make a movie based on the Warrens, like on Lorraine Warren, and I forgot what her husband's name was, but if they could just make one movie, one movie with all their cases, like the, the top 10 cases that ever scared, that scared them out of their wits, you know, just the hardcore 10 top movies or 10 top cases that they were involved. That's the movie I want to see. If they can make that movie, oh my God, I will be shitting my pants because I know some of the movies that are out right now are kind of based from their cases like, um, what is it? Amityville Horror, um, Insidious, The Conjuring. I know those are kind of based on their cases, which are extremely like fascinating. And I know she has a book out. I kind of want to get my hands on that. If they could just make a movie dedicated to just top 10 of the Warren's top cases, that would be the shit I know. Oh my God. So if you're listening out there, people who make movies, make it, make it. All right, guys, this, that's the end of the questionnaire. Thank you so much, Nina, for tagging me. I'm sorry I rambled on this so long and I hope it wasn't too boring for you, wasn't too boring for you guys. But I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking to the end if you made it to the end. Mwah. Happy Halloween to my beautiful candy corn dumplings. Have a safe outing if you go out. If you guys are doing anything special, comment down below. I'd love to know what you're doing because I'm a nosy bitch like that. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.